This new algorithm transforms a blurry image to a high resolution image. It can take a super low resolution, like a 16x16 16 /16 image, and turn it into a 180p high definition human face. You don't believe me? Then you can do just like me and try it yourself in less than a minute. But first, let's see how they did that. This is What's AI, and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. To start, we have to introduce the concept of photo upsampling, our image super resolution. The goal here is to construct a high resolution image from a corresponding low resolution input, which is a face in this case. The low resolution will be such as 16 by 16 pixels, super blurry, to a high definition 180p image with a clear face. Usually, these techniques use supervised learning to train their network and measure the average distance between the new high definition image and the high resolution ground truth. But using these techniques seem to neglect important details like textures and create some blurry spots when the answer is uncertain because of the differences between the low and high resolutions. This is where Pulse comes in play. Their goal was to generate realistic images within the set of plausible solutions meaning that they wanted to rely on an actual image that was realistic where its downscaled version will look the same as the original low resolution image instead of having to guess directly from the low resolution image. So, they introduced a new self-supervised technique that traverses the high resolution natural image manifold searching for images that downscale to the original low resolution image. This is great because as you can see in this image, multiple high resolution images can be downscaled to the same low resolution image, which will cause a blurry uncertainty with previous techniques. These high resolution images are made by a GAN network, which is pre-trained in an unsupervised way to generate multiple realistic and sharp face images. If you are not familiar with self-supervised learning or generative adversarial networks or GANs, I invite you to watch the video I introduced them. Both are linked in the description below. At first, I was skeptical, probably just like you. So I decided to try it myself since the code is available and the results were amazing. You can see that the image is super blurry. No one could guess how I really look like in this picture. And yet, even though I don't think it looks just like me, it's still extremely close to the reality for the amount of information it was fed. You can even try it on yourself right now with the demo. No setup needed, and it takes only a minute or so. Click in the link in the description, run the program, enter your image, which will not be saved by them for privacy, and here are the results. In this work, they use the Celebi HQ dataset, which is a large-scale face attributes dataset with more than 200,000 celebrity images. This could explain why the faces look older and different than non-celebrity faces. It will be interesting to see a comparison with another large dataset using a different segment of the population. And this work is of course generalizable and could be of great use in fields like medicine, astronomy or satellite imagery where sharp and high resolution images are difficult to have due to their cost or hardware and memory limitations. Of course, this was just a simple overview of the Pulse photo upsampling algorithm. I strongly recommend to read the paper and play with the code. Both are linked in the description for more information. Leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained.